wake bwana yesu ni za ni za ajab roho wake bwana yesu ni za ni za ajab zeza kwenda juze kwenda chini zeza kwenda mbele zeza kwenda nyuma upande upande kwa mata ati wapi upande upande kwa mata ifa yote ati wapi upande upande kwa mata ifa yote My name is Michael and uh, next month is my birthday. I'm going to be 34 years old. I was born in Kebera, which is the largest slum in Kenya covering an area of only 2.4 square kilometers of land, but over 1 million people live in it. Kebera is the breeding ground of all kinds of crime. You can imagine all sorts of diseases and violence here. And I grew up in Kebera. And as you can see, there is nothing to smile about in Kebera. And everybody in Kebera has to make a decision. Uh, and there's only two options, struggle hard or die. At the age of 12, my father passed away and in an imaginable hardship, my mom raised up all six of my brothers, sisters and I. You know in Kebera, survival is never an easy thing. Because there's a lot of influences that comes with being living in Kebera. There is drugs here. There is crime here. There are guns in Kebera, you know. And uh, living in Kebera gives you no option. You either make it or break it. So it, it depends. You need to like commit yourself to something positive that you think is important to your life. At the age of 15, I started to learn boxing. After 10 years of diligent practice, I went for professional boxing and after 18 games in six years, I finally won the African champions. I knew that I was not going to become a millionaire in boxing, but I was there for a reason. I was there to just stay safe and survive. During this year, I began to teach the kids in Kebera boxing. I think even if the poor life can't change, but at least they can have a healthy body. I want them to be like me, draw confidence and strength from boxing. What they get is just food after training, just lunch, one dollar lunch every day and then after a while I send them back to school and after sending them back to school they go back home to their parents everybody is happy I achieve something I bring I, I give these kids education and I, I send them back home and their parents are happy good morning People ask me all the time, Mike, what drives you? What inspires you? What, what is your drive? And I, I, I tell people, look around. Poverty drives me. Poverty inspires me. <laughs> 